Hi, this is Marcel Clark again with Millennium Strategic Investments talking about my favorite part of real estate investing, contractors. Contractors can be very, very tricky. So I'm just going to lay out some of the basic principles I think you should follow when putting together a deal with your contractor. This will keep your money safe and they're not going to like it. But believe me, I'm on your team, so I want you to learn and I want you to actually win. So here are the top three things you should be clear on before you even go down that road with the contractor. Number one, please do not give them more than 10% of the agreed upon number. So if you say it's going to be $100,000 to do the renovations on this property, please do not give them more than 10%. That means $10,000. You know why? Because all you need to do is give them enough to get the job started. If you give them any more than that, then you're decreasing their motivation, okay? Because they're in this for money. So if in fact you give them too much money, then guess what? Your contract, and your contractor in the, the actual deal is gonna move very slowly. So you give them 10%, just enough to get the contract started, and then you could just basically move forward from there. Number two, always, always monitor the project, okay? Never take your eyes off the ball. That means on an ongoing basis, at least weekly, you should be stopping by there to take a look at the progress on the property. If you do not do that, you're gonna pay a heavy price because again, that contractor needs to understand that you're on it, meaning that you are paying attention to what's going on and you're monitoring the progress because time is money. And if you let them just sit around and your, your dollars are going out the window, when your project is over with, you won't make any money because you lost all your cash dealing with the contractor that was taking this time and didn't meet your projections. So again, always be on site as much as you can just to monitor the progress. Lastly, do not pay the full balance until that home is inspected by a home inspector. That means you should always hold back maybe 5% of the agreed upon number just to ensure that when it's time for that property to go up for sale, you are protected because what's going to happen is when that house goes up for sale and you find a buyer, they're going to come through with a home inspector. And guess what? That home inspector is going to find a litany of issues. All right. If that contractor has been paid off, he's not going to be motivated to come back and fix the issues. So don't give him all of his money. You want to hold back 5% just because have that written in your contract and you will not have any issues when it's time to sell that property. If you have any questions, please reach out to me at marcel at msiinvestments.net. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. Between now and then, be a smart investor.